So I'm from this really little bitty hick town in the Midwest. And uh, it was really hick because we were so hick we actually thought Leave It to Beaver was a documentary. <laughs> we didn't have any black people in our town, so affirmative action was on our ass all the time. So our city council finally put up a billboard of Bryant Gumbel. <laughs> you know, that's a real representative of the hood there. He really makes Barack Obama look like 50 Cent. <laughs> But uh, I did learn some things, you know, like where I'm from, implants are something you get at the dentist. <laughs> if you want to drive by, you order a cheeseburger from a clown's head. <laughs> and strippers and studs, something you get at the hardware store. <laughs> so uh, I had an interesting life too, because like when I came out here, I had a few odd jobs. Like my first great job was answering phones. I got, um, let's see, $3 a minute for the first minute and $1.95 for every minute thereafter. Yeah, um, this one gentleman spent about $1,000 to call up and hear me talk dirty. I earned every cent of it too because I hate talking to my dad. So I was married once. I was married just long enough to figure out marriage is a lot like a timeshare. I got sucked in by a great presentation and the promise of a free TV. <laughs> and nobody told me TV stands for transvestite. <laughs> Should have seen the alarm bell when I got the Victoria's Secret bill for $1,000 and knew none of it was in my drawer. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly enough, he was a gourmet chef at a five-star restaurant, so he would never let me cook. No, he'd come home and fix me a packet of instant oatmeal. I'm too tired. I've been serving customers all day. <laughs> so I got a job in a house. <laughs> Came home, fixed him a bottle of lotion. Well, I didn't want to run my hose. <laughs> <laughs> 